Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going to be going over Jo Malone London fragrances. I wanna go over with you guys an overview of how you can layer these fragrances and just a bit about the fragrances in general. It was developed by a woman. It is a British brand and Estee Lauder took over the company years ago. So now it is called Jo Malone London. Jo Malone has moved on and has her own fragrance now that is called Jo Malone Loves. So that said, the fragrances are all still the same. They're all manufactured in England. All right, so a little bit about the fragrance. There are six individual scent families that are laid out in Jo Malone London's brand. There is citrus, fruity, light floral, floral, spicy, and woody. So there really is something for everyone and they are meant to be worn alone or they can be layered in combination to create your own signature scent. Now they are a cologne. So for those of you that don't like a heavy fragrance, you will love this. Colognes are the least concentrated in the fragrance family, so it won't be overwhelming to you. You definitely need to reapply them. So I have large bottles of the fragrance I really like that I keep at home, and then I have my one ounce that I keep in my purse to just touch up throughout the day. I'd say they last anywhere from four to six hours, but it's not one of those fragrances that you put on and then you have it on all day. Now I did work for Chanel for a long time in my career. And that's a very different fragrance house. I'm bringing that up because when I'd spray the fragrances at Chanel, they lasted all day. Now that has its plus and minuses. The plus being it's great that you don't have to reapply fragrance, but unfortunately I was starting to get migraines. I had to be very careful about what fragrances I'd put on because after so many years in this industry, I found that I became very sensitive to too much fragrance from being around it for so long. So this is a brand that works for me because for a time I had to stop wearing fragrance altogether because I would get a migraine right away. Jo Malone London fragrances work really well for me. They actually actually use a lot of flowers, which a lot of companies don't use real flowers anymore. A lot of companies actually use synthetic fragrances. So I loved that they actually used real quality products, but just keep in mind that they don't last as long because they are in a clone family. Now, for those of you that are wondering how fragrances work, there are five main scent categories. So there's Eau de Fresh, Eau de Cologne, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, and Parfum. So Jo Malone is in the cologne family. So it's second to the bottom, which means that it's much lighter in scent, but don't let that fool you. They are still pretty strong and they do last on the skin for four to six hours. All right, let's go ahead now and jump into the fragrances. I'm gonna start with the one ounce and then I'll work up to the larger sizes, which is a 3.4 ounce. I'm going to move quite quickly because there's a lot of fragrances to go over. So I'm gonna start with the grapefruit. So grapefruit is fantastic. It has grapefruit, it has sage, it has moss. It's very clean. In fact, a lot of people will wear this because it has that citrus note in it. So this is kind of more of an uplifting fragrance. So for those of you that like bright, happy, you know, citrus notes, you'll love this. The next one I have is the English Oak and Hazelnut. Now this is by far one of my favorites. This has English Oak and Hazelnut in it. So it's warm and earthy. So it has the Oak, which is woody and Hazelnut, which is very kind of warm, kind of just delectable. It has that very kind of spicy warmth to it. And I'm gonna show you guys in a minute my favorite scent that I mix with this to create my signature scent. Next one I have is the Blackberry Bay. This has blackberry, bay leaves, and cloves. It has the fruitiness of the blackberry, but right below that blackberry, there's a lot of green notes creating a very earthy kind of herbal scent. So this is great for those of you who like something that is a bit green and yet has a bit of a bite to it with that blackberry. All right, next one we have is Red Roses. It has seven different types of Bulgarian rose in it, and they use real roses. A lot of fragrance houses don't even use real rose anymore, and you can smell the rose in this. It smells so good. They add a touch of lemon in this, so it's kind of like a citrus floral scent. It just smells so incredibly fresh my favorite rose scent. And I have to say, a lot of people attribute rose to something that's a bit dated, but this is a very elegant way of wearing red roses. It's very modern. So definitely think of this as a modern rose scent. All right, next we have Wild Bluebell, which is a very popular scent in Asia. The Wild Bluebell is really light. It's very reserved in nature. It's very clean, it's very crisp. It's very much a light floral scent. This has bluebells, lily of the valley, and persimmon in it. It really does have a beautiful feminine twist to it. It's very clean and very subtle, 
and very elegant. This is the one my husband actually uses. He indulges me and lets me <laughs> create his signature scent for him. Um, he wears the black cedar wood and juniper. So got the woody ocean scent, and then I layer on top of it the grapefruit with rosemary and moss. So it's very much like a California coast scent. I absolutely love it. You've got the woods, and then you got over here the citrus with a bit of that earthy moss and rosemary, and I layer those two together. And my goodness, it smells absolutely delicious. Sometimes I'll even wear it and people go, what is that? So interesting. If you guys want me to go into depth on how to layer fragrances, let me know. I actually have gotten to the point where I layer four or five of Jo Malone fragrances because I know what notes go together. Obviously, for those of you that are new to fragrance or Jo Malone London, just get one that you really love, but I'd be happy to go over with you guys in depth how scent works and how to layer fragrances and put notes together depending on what you're looking for. Okay, let's go ahead now and get into the larger bottles. All right, so we have two different colors here. We have the white clear bottles and we have the dark black bottles. And I'm going to get into both, but I'm gonna start off first with the light clear bottles. Now, these are the larger size, obviously. These are 3.4 ounces. And I get these sizes when I wanna keep these bottles at home and not have to travel with them. I use my one ounces for that. So the first one I'm gonna go over is poppy and barley. So when you think of this fragrance, think of poppies, floral, and barley wheat. How original is that, you guys? You have the beautiful barley, which is warm and is a wheat. And then you have that brightness of that poppy scent that just sits right on top. It's an incredibly beautiful fragrance. For those of you who like something warm and clean with a floral, it's beautiful. But think of this as a warm floral fragrance. Next is fig and lotus. Now you have the warmth of fig. It's kind of got that spicy warmth mixed with the lotus flower, which is light and watery and effervescent, just very clean and calm. So for those of you that like the juxtaposition of something that has a warm base with a brightness on top, it's beautiful. So it's a light floral fragrance bought together by the note of Neroli. Mm, really unique. Now we're gonna get into the black bottles. Now you might be wondering what's the difference between the clear bottles and the black bottles. These are more concentrated, there's more oil in these so they have a higher longevity on the skin so they are more when it comes to their price but it does have more potency now this one i'm going to go over with you guys first is jasmine sambuck and marigold now if you guys feel like going to india this is it it is so incredibly gorgeous it has the jasmine flower it has sambuck and it has marigold. And this is absolutely one of the sexiest scents I have ever worn. And yes, I get asked quite often, what are you wearing? And I sometimes will layer a little bit of the red roses on top of this just to give a little bit more femininity to it. But it is beautiful. It is truly a beautiful scent. Next is Velvet Rose and Oud. And for those of you that like a magnetic fragrance, this is it. It has damask rose with oud in it. So this is a very sexy fragrance. It just captivates you. And it's spiked with clove and praline. So it is rich, decadent. Because of the warm clove and praline, it just has a lusciousness to it that is edible almost with that beautiful damask rose that sits on top and in between in that heart note is that wonderful oud scent. So very sexy. Think of this as a magnetic type of fragrance. All right, next is orange bitters. This is a seasonal fragrance. They usually bring it out around holiday. And I want you guys to think of this as a zesty cocktail. This is warm and spicy. This is what they consider a gourmand type fragrance. So it has kind of a delectable sweetness to it with the orange bitters on top of that note. So the notes are sweet orange, bitter orange, and then sandalwood. So it has that warm base with that zest that just kicks up right at top. It also comes with a candle that definitely sets the mood. It's very festive and just very chic. It reminds me of being at a really cool kind of like lounge cocktail type of bar. So definitely get the candle and the fragrance. You guys will love it. It comes out around the holidays. Next is the Huntsman. Now I got this for my husband. This is whiskey and cedar wood. Just think of that for a minute. Whiskey with cedar wood. How sexy is that? Now this fragrance is like all of their fragrance unisex, but it is tailored for men. It states that footsteps after dark on a waxy wood floor, an enigmatic nightcap, fine whiskey edged with spicy pimento, finished with warm cedar wood. 
a fragrance for the small hours, daring and intriguing, sharply dressed as part of our collaboration with Huntsman Seville Row. Now, for those of you that don't know, Huntsman, it is not the movie that they are referring to. It is the actual shop that's in London that has been around for a very long time that does men's tailorings. They do really well made suits. So they partnered with them to create a signature scent. I believe there are four or five scents. I went for the whiskey and cedarwood because it has whiskey, pimentos, and cedarwood. I don't think you can get more masculine and sexy than that. <laughs> now I do wear this sometimes. I'll add red roses and grapefruit to it with a touch of wild bluebell and it becomes a very sexy scent for a woman. All right, my friends, we have reached the end of this Jo Malone overview video on fragrances. Of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm here for you guys. I've worked for the company. I know a bit about the brands, how they work and how to layer. So pick my brain. Thank you so much for watching. And the best way to support Shri Voyage, if you like what you're seeing, is to use the affiliate links down below for anything you'd like to purchase, as well as subscribe. And you can always leave me a comment and hit that like button. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right, everyone, I will see you in the next video. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you soon. Bye.